So I was told I need to do more videos. So I got a couple of more uh, new series that I'm about to tune in and start watching and do reactions for since I see people actually like watching me. So, hey, we're going to jump right into them. Today I got Mixed Dish. It's episode one. It's a new season. World, world, world premiere. So we're just going to jump right into that. Let's go, man. This website I got alone is a little messed up, but hey, you know how I do. Everything's live. Let's go. Oh, all right then. Let's watch Break It. Uh, break In? Mm -hmm. No G? No. Not for me, Playboy. I've been out of the in apostrophe game ever since I got burned on Trippin'. This movie has a white girl with a leotard? <laughs> Let me guess. She finds strength to say break dancing. No. She actually saves the radio track. Push it to pop it. Rock it to lock it. Break it to make... Yo. So these kids and all done got grown, didn't they? Like... <laughs> They big as hell now. I ain't really watched in the Blackish or anything, so I don't know who this kid is that he's holding, but I know that is the son, and then the two twins on the couch, and then old girl's gone to grownish. So, I mean, we watch him grow up so fast. What is this? Shut up and sit down. All of you are heathens, and don't you dare talk about breaking. It is a classic, and it features the dance stylings of Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> We all do bold nice. mix. That's what I thought you just said. Yeah. It's breaking, Bo. Breaking! The precursor to breaking too? Electric boogaloo? I haven't. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry about this, Mom. Shut up! She doesn't need to be sorry. Well, there he go. Still arguing with the kids and going in on them. But, you know, she's... So she's the mixed one, obviously. And I guess it's going to jump into... Uh, how she was raised and didn't know about her black side. But we about to see, man. I mean, it's just the plot, so we're going to keep going. I swear to God, it's going to be me and you, man. Soon. <laughs> I feel it. I do, too. I do, too. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, enough, guys. What's the big deal? You know I didn't have movies on the commune? That's what I mean. That's right. No, it's not. Nothing makes sense. Yes, Nothing you ever say about your childhood makes sense. You grew up in a cult. It's amazing I ever met you. Well, we actually wouldn't have ever met if the elders hadn't gotten arrested. Hold on. So I guess she was, you know, she was uh, sheltered as a child. So I guess they're about to jump into, you know, the little storytelling of how she grew up and how she didn't know anything. And we shall see. Childhood was anything but normal. Oh, yeah, but this is a cult. They got pigs. It was, I wouldn't take it back for anything. Because it made me the woman I am today. In the summer of 1985, I was 12 years old, and my life 12 years old in 85. Hi, Ronald Reagan. Hey, there we are, boy. While the rest of the world was inaugurating Reagan into his second term and worrying about AIDS, famine, and the crack epidemic, I was living with my family on a commune. The problems of the outside world seemed to be like a million miles away from our hippie, judgment-free utopia where love ruled all. We ate together, prayed together, and even slept together. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know if I'd be able to do that. I know the 80s was different, but I know definitely I ain't trying to be around that many people. I ain't trying to <laughs> wash other people's clothes. I ain't about to be trying to eat with y'all. I definitely ain't about to be sleeping with y'all. Look how they all over here bundled up and stuff. Forget that, man. Forget that. Okay, black fish. what seemed like overnight, my peaceful little world had been taken away. My parents said we were moving to a new community, but from what I could see, there was nothing communal about it. All I remember seeing was rotund people hidden behind curtains, yeah. locked away in their own little brown would not want to live next door to that. I didn't know what anyone else's house looked like, but I remember walking into my grandpa's rental house for the first time, feeling like I was on a whole other planet. And I wasn't the only one. I think my little brother, Johan, who looked at everything like one great big magical adventure, slept next to the toilet for the first three months we lived there. So you can already tell. Well, he's a free spirit and blackish, so you know he's about to be wild as hell as a kid. Like He over here messing up everything in the refrigerator, playing in the toilet. Ain't no telling him he done flushed down that already. We in like the, the first three scenes, and he over here messing stuff up. Whoa, where does it all go? 
Put you into portal to another dimension. Well, guess that's settled. Never using that thing. I think my little sister Santa Monica was around five at the time. But even then, she complained like a woman with no kids on her third divorce. Which, interestingly enough, she would eventually become. Relax, Auntie. It's safe. Then you use it. I'm going back to diapers. My girl tells me. <laughs> so this is the little feisty smart one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she talking about she gonna go back to diapers. Man, ain't nobody about to be changing your big ass diapers. What you about five, six years old, man? Get the hell out of here. You know. Oh, that's uh okay. Zach from Say by the Bear. Well, <laughs> sweetie, we've actually been doing some thinking and this is our new home. For now. What? Well, sorry. For now. Guys, we'd love to be able to go back home, but everything we've ever loved is gone. We can rebuild. I can't use the bathroom oh, here. Oh, guys, guys, come on. <laughs> they passing around that stick. Like, okay, if you don't have the stick, you can't talk. But that's some white people shit. We don't do that. Now we can see why Bo is the way she is. Alright, what kind of people interrupt? Ashes. Exactly. No, I know things might seem scary, but we're gonna be fine. Just because we're in a new home, we're not going to let that change who we are. We're definitely not going to let this idiot box contaminate us with the worst of America, CBS. And we'll keep all the best parts of our old home. No, 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 Dad. We trying to watch some TV, man. Forget that, man. The days behind us with no electricity, no running water is gone, Dad. We in the real world now, man. Forget that. But the hardest part about that day was the first time we were asked a question <laughs> yeah, the flip -flop zone. for the rest of our lives. What are you weirdos mixed with? What's next? <laughs> What's next? Uh, your mom, your dad, what are you weirdos mixed with? That's what we're asking you. Uh, I, I can see how it was like that because... The school I went to was the white side, the black side. I mean, we knew the whites. You know, we talked to them. It wasn't like segregated or nothing. It was just, you know, you said with the people you knew, you know what I'm saying, who you grew up with. And you know, they grew up with everybody. So that shit, they don't know no better. And what, wait, what, what grade are they in where all three of these kids go to the same school? Like, she's like in pre-K. She's 12 years old, I think she said. So that's going to put her in middle school. And he got to be about maybe eight. I don't know. Unless it was uh, pre-K all the way up to 12 in one school. It probably was back then. Who knows? You guys think you had a bad day? Since leaving the commune, my world had been turned upside down. But after my first day of school, I felt like that upside down world got lit on fire. What is this? We need to not... <laughs> what is mix, mom and dad? Let me get the stick though, so I can talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I bet it was tough for them. Aunt Dee Dee was our favorite aunt. aunt she had Dee the personality Dee. of a TSA worker before they realized what their personalities were gonna be. Don't worry, baby. Auntie Denise is here to fix all your problems with new clothes, hot cold. <laughs> <laughs> She, she said <laughs> she said she gonna fix all their problems with new clothes, the hot coal, and grease. <laughs> now that's the side of the family I'd be kicking with. <laughs> Aunt D D. Please tell me you're kidding. No, you please tell me you didn't send these babies to school looking like this. You know this is challenging. What's wrong with how we look, sweetie? You know Aunt D D loves you very much, but. You look like a runaway house slave. No, don't think my baby's that nonsense. <laughs> a runaway house slave. Get the fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. She did send the kids to school with overalls that were high water with flip flops on. Like the the flip flops with the the, the feet in between, like the little thong thing, man. Like, come on, man. Them kids. Especially in the 80s, man, you know they about to be going in on them of Man, hell no. Nah. You can't do your kids like that. That is child abuse. My father was planting seeds trying to preserve our old one. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing that no more. That's My dead. My mom was somewhere in between. I did some soul searching. And the universe guided me here. Well, that and the light bill. But I looked at other firms, 
and I know this is going to be the best place for me to do the meaningful one I'm wearing. I was gonna say the same thing, like, man, you can't come in here with that hippie stuff, man. Like, this is a law office. Come on, man, get your stuff together. Go get your little suit. I give y'all some money. I'm taking care of y'all, and then come back. I get you a job. You're my daughter-in-law. I got you. I got you. But you gonna change them clothes? Do you think those clothes are appropriate for this office? It's clear you don't think so. I wouldn't go into your sweat lodge and put on deodorant. So I expect the same respect here. It's terrifying. <laughs> he going in. Look, Alicia, Paul is like a son. He is your son. And I love him like one. But he doesn't get it. Now, you, you have the legal chops to become the son I never had, even though you went to that comedy law school. Berkeley is a top school. For comics. Bottom line, if you want to be able to take care of your family, you're going to have to make some changes. So we already know he don't, he definitely don't like his son. He's talking about you going to be the son I never had. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, my son, and he's kind of like a son, but I wouldn't call him that. But you, you got the brain. So, like I said, he probably gonna help her out, like he said he was. She's got to change that outfit, and then come on back, man. When I get you a job, you'll just be like an intern or a, you know, what I'm saying a paralegal for now. Oh, he mad. He big mad. Well, one of us had to get a job. What are you so mad about? Because it's like you completely gave up on our old way of life. Because this place forces people to be something that they're not. It's happening to our kids. It's even happening to you. Look, we need to support our family, Paul. If we're going to have any chance of surviving this, we're going to have to adapt. We it's affecting me. I went to school for it, and I got a degree. Bills is due up in this thing. I got to go do what I got to do. Because them plants outside, we definitely ain't making no money off of those. And we sure the fuck ain't eating them, so... You need to reevaluate reevaluate yourself, mister, because I'm trying to get a damn job. Your dad hooked me up. He don't even fuck with you anyway, but <laughs> you need to do something. You got a plan. For you to call us food, I can't wait six months to eat. So, maybe that wasn't the best plan. But we promised we wouldn't let this place change us. Think of you going to that office in that pantsuit. It's like my biggest fears come to life. My wife is becoming That is a big-ass suit, Look, man. Look at that you thing. Because you can be how you are anywhere in the world. I can only be the way that I was on the commune. Basically, she's saying you could be a bum anywhere in the world, man. Like, we in the real world, you could be a bum, but you ain't going to make it nowhere. You ain't going to have nothing. We can't wait six months for that food. You're a bum. Get a damn job. Change them clothes like I did. This big... Burly suit that don't look good at all, but hey, I'm making it happen. Anywhere else, I'm a black woman. It's different for me, and it's different for our kids. Right on, sister. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her you're sorry, and you're going to get it together, man. You're going to get it together. So that was episode one. So that was episode one of Mixed it's pretty cool. It's slow beginning, you know what I'm saying? It really, they didn't really go in too in-depth or anything. Hopefully, the, uh, the episode is going to get a little bit better. But I think that's a good little pilot, you know what I'm saying? And I know that they're going to probably go back and forth between when she was growing up and how she is at the house. Just so we could get the interaction with Anthony Anderson and everything. But, I mean, overall, I mean, it's straight to me. I, I like it. But you know what to do. Comment down below what you thought about the episode. If you want me to do more on Mix This, I'm going to do at least five or six episodes. Let me get this right. I'm going to do five or six episodes and see how it goes. But comment what you liked about the episode. If you haven't watched it, it's on ABC. Also, make sure you follow me on all of my social media, Mo.J, Instagram, Twitter, Snap. I'm on Instagram the most. 